are very violent scenes. Two dead in North Austin this weekend. It's sad uh, to see people being victimized. An employee of this car dealership on FM 2222 was killed in what police say may have been a robbery Friday night. One suspect is in the hospital after being shot by someone inside the dealership. Who we believe may have had a concealed handgun license. The following morning, a man was found dead near this Waffle House off 290 after a shooting that police say involved several cars. The killings are the city's 42nd and 43rd homicides of the year. We've had more murders this year than we have in probably the last 20 years. We poured through the data. This is the highest number of homicides Austin has seen in 20 years. That being said, with a booming population, the homicide rate per 100,000 has decreased 13% over the past two decades. In 2015, we saw a spike, a rate increase of 75%. For 2019 to 2020, we used population projection data from the city and determined that the homicide rate has already increased 32%. And there are still two months left in the year. I really contribute a lot of it to uh, the new uh, wave of not wanting to prosecute. The 2019 Crime in Texas report shows that almost 79% of people convicted of felony offenses in Travis County had previously been convicted of a felony offense. The suggestion that Austin is a dangerous city is just flat out wrong. This year, Austin City Council made the controversial decision to cut Austin police funding up to $150 million. We find that, that a better corollary to public safety is not the number of officers, it's the programs that we run to help reduce crime. That's absolutely not sufficient for a city the size. We should be growing. This city is booming.